Look at how many people uh, were brought into the evolution theory uh, many, many decades ago. Uh, people that called themselves Christians and loved the Lord and, and uh, said, oh, you know, I believe the Bible. And how many of them uh, were brought into this evolutionary theory? Oh, everything just evolved. It's all just happened. Uh, yeah, we believe the Bible, but we don't believe this part. We don't believe this part. We don't believe that part. We don't believe the part that says that there was no death before Adam and Eve. We don't believe that. Uh, there was always uh, evolution. Uh, things lived and died, lived and died, and lived and died centuries, millions and millions of years uh, before Adam and Eve. Uh, that's what evolution says, undermining what the Bible says, undermining what Genesis says. Very clearly, Genesis says that uh, Adam and Eve were created. Human beings lived on this earth before there was any sin, before there was any death before death had come upon this universe. But uh, death came when Adam and Eve fell into sin. That's what the Bible says. That's when death entered into creation. Before that, there was no death. So there weren't things that lived and died, lived and died, lived and died eons before man. That is a lie from the devil. And look how many people calling themselves Christians have bought into that lie today. How many people say, oh, I'm a Christian, but yeah, I believe evolution. It's so scientific, and I believe science. Science is so true. Science is so good. Uh, it's what the Bible says, science falsely so-called. It's not truth. It's not real science. It is a lie. Uh, but people have bought that lie from the devil because... The devil has uh, made it so popular. He, he won this person and this person and, and it just the domino effect and it just spread and spread. And now today you just have a handful really of born again Bible believing Christians who say, no, I know that that's not true because the, the Bible says it's not true. The Bible says plainly there was no death before Adam and Eve. The Bible says that plain as day. And I believe the Bible. And so I believe that is a lie. And yes, there are people that have looked into uh, that theory of evolution, Bible-believing Christians that call themselves creationists, that believe in a young earth and believe the Bible, and uh, have said, you know, look, this is a lie. This is a lie. And look at the facts. Here's the fact. When you look at the facts, you see that evolution is a lie. And so I will keep preaching this and keep preaching this and hope and pray that there's someone out there that will listen to what I'm saying and actually look into it for yourself. Look into it. Uh, get in touch with these creationist organizations. Get in touch with the work and the research that they're doing and how they're uncovering the fact that evolution is just a total lie. It's a total, uh, it's something that's been foisted upon people. Uh, bit by bit by bit and people think oh this is so true I turned on PBS and they were talking about evolution so I know it's true no PBS is uh, they're fooled these people that believe it are they're fooled they're deceived and they're believing a lie and uh, the the interesting thing is uh, if you'll look into it if you'll look into it you'll find that all these different theories contradict one another and contradict the facts so uh, all I can say is, uh, folks, uh, please uh, look into this for yourself, and you will see, if you don't believe me, uh, evolution is a lie. But look at how people calling themselves Christians have accepted that lie. The world is wide open uh, to their reading of, of science, what they think is real science, uh, which is science falsely so-called. This is where we are, folks. In this world today, I mean, the theory of evolution, uh, when they've accepted that, they opened this Pandora's box and and uh, they just continued to accept things. And uh, where are we headed? God knows where we're headed. And the Bible says where we're headed. And the book of Revelation tells us where we're headed. And there's going to be wild things happening in these last days, brothers and sisters. And so we're talking about these things on this channel because we need to be prepared. We need to understand that we're going to be hearing all kinds of things from AI. 
We're going to be hearing all kinds of things from people saying that they're in touch with ETs now. Uh, you're going to be hearing all kinds of messages, and I guarantee you it won't be the gospel of Jesus Christ. You're going to be hearing all kinds of messages, all kinds of messages of salvation for, for the human race. All kinds of ways that humanity is going to be helped and benefit from these messages coming from AI and coming from ETs. So brothers and sisters, what did Jesus say? He said, folks, don't build your house on sinking sand. Don't build your house on that sinking sand that the world has. Uh, you build your house on that and your house is going to collapse. Your house is going to crumble. Build your house on the solid rock. Build your house on the word of God. Build your house on the word of Jesus Christ. Build your house. Build your house on the rock that never changes, that never falters, that never fails. Build your house and you won't see your house crumble. Build your house on the solid rock. And when all the world crumbles and all the world falters and all the world fails, you will stand on the solid rock because Jesus will stand with you and you will stand with him. He said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So hold on to Jesus. Jesus is holding on to his children. And uh, if you are not sure of your salvation, be sure of your salvation. Please watch my eight minute video that says how to be absolutely sure that you are going to go to heaven. Be absolutely sure. Make sure that your house is standing on the solid rock for all eternity and that you are in Christ and Christ is in you.